Hey everyone, I want to make a quick video to address the missing bike, which is the Tomos A3 that uh, started this channel ages back. Um, I just wanted to explain where it had gone and why. And so that bike was something that got a steam rally for 50 quid. I actually bought two of them for 50 quid. Really good deal. Uh, went through the rigmarole of tearing it completely to pieces, repainting it, replacing every bearing, every part that I could find a new one for. Rebuilt the engine, kitted it, got it going, I think it's records, 52 mile an hour. But it's the very first bike that showed up on this channel. And it had a special place in my heart for a long time. But you probably noticed when it showed up um, at this place in my garage, it was in considerably worse condition than it was at the start. And I wanted to kind of address that and, and talk about why, because there are some life lessons in there. So I have a family member with severe mental health problems. Um, he is incapable of work, incapable of looking after himself most of the time. But he has a lucid moments, and a while back when he had one of those, he was looking for work and he needed a way to get around. Um, and he'd fixated on the Tomos, he really liked it, um, and frankly, with all of his history, he couldn't afford to insure anything else. So I lent it to him. I even bought him the insurance, um, gave him some old gear of mine, which fortunately, due to familial resemblance, fits him quite well. Um, and I forgot about it for years. I've moved house a couple of times. Things happened with work. The garage light decided it um, didn't want to be automatic anymore. There we go. And eventually I got a call from my parents and they said, hey, your, your Tomos is back. He, he doesn't want it anymore. And so I went to pick it up and I found it in the state that you've seen it in the more recent videos. And I guess the reason that I'm making this video is partially to explain where it's gone and partially is a bit of a story of a cautionary tale of projects of mental health, other people's and your own. Because when I got that bike back, I promised myself I was going to re-restore it. And it sat in this garage for three, four years, occasionally getting an MOT, occasionally being on the road, but mostly just taking up space. Now, I don't blame him for what he did to it and to put in a small, <laughs> small list. He managed to pour petrol down it and then tried to scrub it off and took a bunch of lacquer off and then latterly paint. He took the engine apart because he used to be a talented engineer before his problems started and he tried all sorts of weird and wonderful things which make no sense to the, the normal human being to create advanced engine management systems that only really existed in his head out of bits cobbled together from scrapyards. It's all really sad to see. But in the process of doing that, he wrecked a lot of that bike. And I thought, you know, hey, he's um, he's not well, it's all right, I'll take it back, I'll do it again. And what I didn't realise was I was making myself a trap. Because that bike sat in this garage as a constant reminder to me, not only of his ill health, but also as a frustration. You know, everyone's got that thing in their life. It can be any number of bits or bobs, quite commonly, you know, there's a... A hole you knocked in a wall while moving some furniture that you don't fix for three or four years and every day you look at it, it winds you up something rotten that Thomas had become that but because I promised myself to fix it um it was an expectation sat in my garage taking up space where I could have had another project stopping me from getting on with things um I didn't realize how much it was dragging me down until a mate of mine took an interest in it and um that story is in another video but it's gone now, and it's it's fascinating to me how much better I feel for not having it in the garage. The weight is lifted. The constant reminder of his ill health, the impact it's had on, on my family, both close and far. The pressure on me to sort something out that I didn't want to do all over again. The expectation that I had to keep that bike because I'd put so much work into it previously. Sometimes you just got to load something up onto the trailer and get rid of it. Um, you know, it can be anything in your life. It can be as easy as a motorbike or as, as big as people. So that's where the Tomos has gone. I feel a lot better for it. And um, as a result, I feel like I might um, find the time to put some more videos on this channel. Because as you'll be seeing, or I've already seen, there are very, very, very much bigger things that now need that level of attention. So thanks for watching. You won't be seeing any more of the Tomos unless my mate who's got it now decides to take some videos. But we'll see. Maybe we'll go and visit it at some point. At least it's not so far gone that if I realise this has all been a horrible mistake, I can't go get it back. Either way, peace out. Um, have a good day. Wrenching on whatever you're wrenching on. And enjoy this five minutes of British summer while we've got it.